Hi, good day, good night, good evening, good afternoon, depending on what time you happen to be watching this. Welcome to another episode of House of Stars. I am your girl star, and today I am going to be doing a reading, as you can see on the title, on Logan Paul. As you can see, like, I don't do readings on any YouTube celebrities. I think I've done them on two. I mentioned two. I, I don't want to, like, Jeffree Star and Kat, um, yeah, I guess you can't necessarily call them YouTube stars, but Jeffree Star, you know, is a social media, you know, but I've, I've done, I don't really do videos at all on, on celebrities that are on YouTube at all. Um, and I just felt like I needed to say something or do a video on this just for the simple fact that I'm a smaller YouTuber. And, and you know, I see these YouTube stars and I see these things and I, I see like how easily people are really like, are to like tear these people down and everything like that and how people, how these people like literally like become so arrogant that they think that they're literally super humans because of what they do. And I just thought it would be interesting to do a reading on this guy to just kind of see where this guy's mind is at and why the hell did he do such a video that he did. And what I've seen, if anyone hasn't watched this, this uh, Logan Paul star, he actually is a big, he st I think he started off on Vine. He started off a Vine with his brother and they were doing videos and they kind of went over to YouTube um, and they became really big. And they, they, I've never really watched any of their vlogs, but they do a lot of vlogs. So I guess he was in Japan and then there's this force called Suicide Force where um, a lot of people are Japanese, people go to that, that uh, force to commit suicide. Um, so what he did was show a video of um, the <laughs> of the dead of a dead body of somebody that committed suicide. Not only did he do that, I think that he also made a sarcastic comment um, that caused you know like just media outrage. Like the year just came in, and this two I, I don't know, this 2018 just came in, and it was already on a bad fucked up start. And from what I sense, like I'm gonna go into it deeper what I see about him, but from what I sense, he kind of needed this just because. I get the sense that, you know, he needs to be humbled in certain ways, but at the same time, like, what I do see about him is, like, I don't know, I'm going to get into it, because I'm, like, rambling, and it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm not setting this up well, but I'm going to get up into it, and what I, uh, what I really, really see about this guy. Um, also, as anyone knows, I always do my annual um, yearly forecast prediction. Um, you can watch 2017. I'll put the link in the description box. Um, and you'll see how many predictions that I had. Um, that I said that happened in 2017 that will actually, um, that actually came to pass in 2017. So I'm going to do mine for 2018. That should be posted on Saturday. Um, because I haven't got a chance to really do it yet. You know, as everyone knows, I just moved. I'm still setting up. But I thought, like, yo, I need to get on YouTube and do a video on this guy. And let's see what happens for Logan Paul. So I actually have an extra phone here. So... This is the picture I'm going to be using. God damn. Uh, that's the picture I'm going to be using to read him. So what I, I looked up his date of birth and his birthday is April 1st, 1995. What's the irony that he's actually born on the 1st of April, like Fool's Day, um, with the sense of humor that he has. But as you guys know, that, that means he's born under the sun sign of Aries. Um, and what you notice about a lot of Aries, Aries is in the first sign of the zodiac. A lot of people that fall under that sign have a sense of um, arrogance or an ego that they kind of live out of, even if they're a little bit shy. But because they are number one, they have, they're very self-assured people, regardless of what spectrum of, of self-esteem they have. They still always are self-assured kind of people. So, let's get into it. Um, Oh, man. Okay, so obviously right now he is not doing that good. I feel like he's like right now, like obviously he's discussing with PRs, uh, legal people, things like that. Like he just has his team that he's talking to and he's a disaster. Um, right now it's like, it's not even like he's sorry about the fact that he showed the video. Like as in having empathy is almost like he's like feeling more saddened by the fact like, fuck, I made a wrong move doing that. 
Um, I'm not going to sit there and say that he doesn't have empathy for anybody that went to commit suicide and stuff like that. This is not like a stone cold, like harsh narcissistic kid. Like he does leave a bit of his narcissism because he, you got to keep in mind that he's still very immature. Like he's had all this success, this power, all this money at such a young age. And like, I don't feel like he has the right, the right backing behind him. You know what I mean? When it comes to, um, you know, helping him with being humble and standing within his ground. You got to keep in mind that the kind of person that he is and what he does for a living, um, it's all about the shock factor. You know what I mean? It's all about the next big thing that can cause a, a, a huge reaction. And sometimes that when you're young and you're kind of always on that road of that thrill, it's like you almost lose senses of what you're supposed to do and you end up doing something as stupid and fucked up as he did with this person, showing him a dead body on his page and being insensitive about it. You got to keep in mind that nowadays especially, you know, uh, people that suffer from mental illnesses or mental health is becoming more in the forefront. You know what I mean? Um, the, people that suffered from things like that have more of a voice. But in the same breath, when it comes to social media, a lot of people, especially Instagram, Vine, everything like that, start to make fun or use joke or use humor in serious situations. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like, I was, you know, there. I think it was like when... Charles Manson died, and there was like a gift that I saw, and it was of like a trans guy, and they're like, you know, me and my friends sitting in hell, and Charles Manson like drops down into hell, and it just shows a gift. Like, I would laugh at that, but it's actually a serious matter. Like, this is a man that killed many people that is now passed away, where it should be a moment of peace, and you know, mourning the people that he's killed over the years, but we will make fun of that or find that thing hilarious. Because that's what we do. You know what I mean? It's like, this day and age is all about the shock factor. Like, what can I say? What can I do that is going to cause a huge reaction that's like, oh, that's fucked. But at the same time, get humor out of it. And I think that's kind of like where he was going on like that. It's like almost like, wow, I'm going to show this dead body. Like, well, like, this is, like we're real. Like, we, we stay relevant. Like, we're always putting out content to kind of give up that shock factor. Like, that was kind of his, and his energy and his perception when he did that. It's like, I feel like Logan Paul was always being Logan Paul. It's just that he just did not think when he was actually doing this. Um, I feel like he's going to take a little bit of a step back, but at the same time, I get, I see another person coming more to the forefront. So I don't know if it's like, he takes a step back and maybe he has like a protege. I don't know if it's his brother, but I don't know if it's his brother. But if he takes a protege or somebody that is, um, and that he works with or somebody that has another channel and kind of work with them so that way his hands are still into the YouTube stuff that he's doing but he's taking a bit of a back seat um this is gonna cause him to like you know go through some substance abuse you know what I mean um some drinking and stuff like that he's gonna actually end up going to counseling um that is what I see happening because of the situation because um it's gonna like kind of stir a whole little PT PTSD situation where He's not going to want to go outside, he's not going to want to like be seen, like he can't even go online, like he can't handle the heat that this guy is getting. And it's like, it's not just that, people that are even his friends or people that he least thought his or associates have turned on him because of the situation. So he's getting the beat down of his lifetime over this. And I think what I said that essentially is karma, you know what I mean? Because he hasn't been necessarily the nicest to some people. Where if certain situations have happened where he was a, took more of a humble, humble approach, then something like this wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? And sometimes I feel like situations like this is like, you know what? If you can't humble yourself, don't be make it. Don't make God be the one to humble you. And this is what's happened here with him. It's like God has to humble you, kid. Now you gotta sit back and you gotta relax. Um, I get the sense that he's gonna sell some of his stuff, like some of his assets. Not like visibly, I feel like it's more monetary, but I see him selling some of his stuff. Um, just to make sure, I'm not like, I don't see this guy going down and like losing all his money. Like I don't see that. Like I feel like he's actually been a little bit smart when it comes to the financial side, but I feel like he's going to start to make some movements so that if his career is actually done, um, he's able to have financially secure himself. But I see him taking kind of a backseat of it for a little bit. You know what I mean? 
Actually, this is going to sprout out. He's going to make an appearance on a reality show um, down the road. I don't like it's his show specifically. It may be that he's actually on somebody else's show. But he's going to kind of take a back seat for now. You might very well see him come off of social media as well altogether. Like maybe even take down a Twitter or take down his uh, Instagram or something. But I feel like he's going to come off of social media altogether. Um, he's been really mean, y'all. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, he's been mean to some people. Like, he can just be a little asshole. And he's just an asshole just to be an asshole. It's just because he's just arrogant. Like, I can fuck you. You know what I mean? And I, I just really feel like it's just karma. It's just like, it's like it's time to pay up. Now it's time to humble yourself. There's times that you could apologize and been a nice person about it. But now you fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I feel like his parents are scared for their life. It's weird. I don't know if they'd be getting death threats or something like that, but like, it's all, I'm seeing like a situation with safety that they're scared of. You know what I mean? Um, very scared of safety. Don't feel like the safety thing has been a first timer either. You know, that's kind of been a, a thing that's happened to them, but they have to be careful about safety. Um, <coughs> Let me see another picture of him. No, I don't know. He's like, he's like also like, he's, uh, well, I, I, one time I watched the video, I'm not going to say it was like, I got to go. There was one girl, a pretty girl. You know, how about that? Not the girl that acted in how about that, but the girl, she did a video with her friend with that how about that thing. The girl, I think he was the one who was in it. I guess, yeah, I think I've seen a video like that. But, like, I feel like he's the kind of person, like, he dates more than one girl at the same time. Like, he's a fuckboy. boy. Like, I actually get that about him, too. Like, he turns people against each other. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just karma, y'all. Like, I'm just saying, like, I feel like it's, like, it's funny that it's, like, it sounds weird for me to chalk it up to that, but I feel like this guy has suffered. It's all because of karma why he is going through all of this. It's, like, he just needs this year to humble himself and i'm not gonna lie he's gonna become a better person out of it but he's gonna have a hard time shaking this this scandal off of his name but when he decides to when he shakes that candle i get a number three so i don't know if it's like within three years or it's like around march or next march but when he shakes the shame of what he has done i actually do feel like he's gonna be able to come back into the entertainment industry. I feel like it's more or less movies. That's what I'm getting. He could very well come back to YouTube, but I see him doing movies. I don't know why. Um, but I see him coming back, and he's going to regain everyone's love again. Um, and that's because he's going to be blessed. I feel like also he's going to kind of go on a spiritual walk as well. So whether he actually ends up talking to like local pastor or going to church or whatever, but this situation is going to cause him to get some spiritual enlightenment. Or enlightenment, rather, um, is what I do see. Um, the poor kid. Well, I can't say the poor kid, you know what I mean? But I do feel bad for him because I'll, it's just, you know, I could have met, like, sometimes money is just not for young guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes fame is just not young for young people. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes you need to mature or have a better understanding of self before you actually, you know, do stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I, I just feel like he's, he's definitely, I feel like he's going to go do a big media talk about it. So I don't know if it's like CNN or something like that, but I feel like he's going to actually talk to, I feel, I feel male energy is what I'm seeing. And he's actually talking to somebody about the whole situation. Um, but right now it's like, it's like, I feel like the board I'm hearing is re rehabilitated. Um, so he's going to kind of have to take a step back and allow himself to get rehabilitated because of the situation. Because it's caused a lot of shock like it's like he went from being this arrogant i'm powerful i have everyone loves me like if it's not you gonna be somebody else kind of thing to literally turning into a puppy dog and it's a friggin mess like i don't even think he's sleeping well at night at all he doesn't even want to see the sun of day like it's, it's like that kind of situation um yeah Oh, okay, no, it's not him. It's rather Jake did it all, so I kind of see it, yeah. Yeah, whatever, but he's just as bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Um, so yeah, that's what I do see about Logan Paul. If you have any questions or concerns about what I wrote, because uh, pardon me for not going so deep. I don't know too much about this guy. Um, and sometimes, you know, not really part of my demographic of the people that I read, but I have to read on this guy to see what's going on with him. But let me just tell you, at the same breath, you got to keep in mind um, as people when it comes to media and what we watch and the social media stuff like the Instagram, the music, all that shit. As young young people coming up, you got to keep in mind that a lot of things lately, because you know, I'm a little bit older, I'm old school. Um, people start to look at serious matters and try to put humor in it and make it funny. You know what I mean? Or whatever the case may be. Like I see people talking about, you know, if I was in hell or how soul how dark my soul is. These are not things to be proud of or talk about. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, I'm feeling doubt like you know, there's certain things and, and I find like it's like the norm in society now to make fun of serious things. And you gotta keep in mind that people like this that are on the forefront that are the face of, you know, um representing um representing um the trend and the fad of, of the way of thinking and, and and what's in and everything like that these people take from the the internet they take from the, from you guys the same way you take from them they take from you and this is why a situation like this is kind of spiraled out of control and made it what it is so it's not a joke like there is shit that's like real legit shit stop trying to find humor in it because that's where you get people like him that's always trying to stay relevant to please you guys and there he goes thinking that that would be a relevant thing to do to please you guys and he gets fucked so um yeah so anyways if you have any questions or concerns or not concerns or about yeah questions or concerns about logan paul um you can always put it in the description box Again, if you want to get a read with me, you know where to book me. You can book me via email or on my House of Stars Facebook page. Um, also, give me some suggestions of who you want me to read on next. Um, kind of losing uh, ideas. Not ideas, but like, you know, I don't really, you know, there's a couple people that you want me to read on. And I think I'm going to do a viewer's choice. I'm going to actually link it in the description box so you can see what my viewer choice videos are like. Um, on a few people that so can do a few people at once. And yeah, so again, I do want to thank you guys for your time and happy new year. As I haven't said it in the starting, happy bloody new year. And stay tuned for a video that is going to be coming on Saturday with the 2018 prediction forecast. All right. So I do want to thank you so much for your time and rocking with me. May God bless you and the angels protect you. Good night.